the AFX unit comes with some extras as well. So for one price, uh, you basically get the hardwire connector. It's a special size. You need these. So the fact that it comes in the box is great. You're not going to find them at the typical hardware store. It comes actually with a cord to plug it in. You can plug it right in. You pop this in the unit. You can plug it into a plug. Not my favorite type of install. It's kind of a manual type deal. If you need a temporary light or something simple where you can't get a switch to it, that's fine. But generally, we want it on a switch. We want you to be able to control all the lights under cabinets in the room with one switch or one dimmer. And then finally, a jumper where you're taking a unit and you're going several inches before the next unit. You can use this pre made jumper that slides in and out of the unit. If you do under cabinet lights such as the AFX unit, the gaps between the units can be between six and nine inches, and you'll get a nice even light on your backsplash and your countertop. You really don't want to go more than six to nine inches. Don't do little short ones. I don't care what somebody's done in the past or what your fluorescents are like. You need to fill as much of the under cabinet space as you can with the unit. So size them as big as will fit in there. That's not to sell you more product. That's to make your kitchen look really nice. This unit also, the AFX unit, it runs cool, not hot like an incandescent or a halogen type light that we've had for years and stuff like that.